Hello, in this video, uh, let's do a, an example problem of uh, fiscal spending uh, and taxation multipliers. Uh, the reason you would do this is if I was a fiscal uh, policymaker, like a congressperson or an economist working for um, some part of the government, I might want to build a model to see what government policies would do to a national economy. So that's what that's why I would do this sort of thing. Okay, so the economy, so we're reading right up here, this is the problem. The economy of Travistan is in short run uh, economic equilibrium, so it's just doing its thing. Uh, the current real output is 400 billion and the full employment output is 500 billion. So what that means is um, full employment is when the economy is not in a recession, it doesn't have any cyclical unemployment. So uh, we expect that the economy should be at $500 billion level, but currently it's not. It's only at uh, this $400 billion. So that means uh, we've got some kind of um, uh, gap that we need to close. Okay, uh, Marginal propensity to consume is 0.8. This means if I give uh, the population a dollar, they're going to spend 80% uh, of it or 0.8 of it, 80 cents, and they're going to save 20. So it's important here the marginal propensity to save is 0.8 whoops, is 0.2, okay? So uh, marginal propensity to consume, marginal propensity to save are always gonna add up to one because that's the additional income uh, that would be earned, okay, the marginal uh, increase. Okay, so a, part A says, is the economy experiencing a recessionary gap or an inflationary gap? So it's a, a recession, okay, this term gap. Uh, it just means we have some room to make up. And how much room do we have to make up? Well, uh, if full employment is 500 billion, and right now, uh, currently, we'll use Y uh, for this, and uh, Y whatever the year is, uh, we're only at 400 billion. The difference is 100 billion. So uh, this would be a very Keynesian type problem. A Keynesian is going to look at this and say, hey, uh, what can I do fiscally to, to get us back to here? So I need to, I need to grow this. Now, um, the Keynesians believe strongly that there's this multiplier, and the multiplier comes from the fact that when you give somebody some money, they're going to spend it, and then they're going to spend it, and they're going to spend it, and so on and so forth. So there's a multiplier on whatever they spend. So we don't, we don't have to increase spending by $100 billion. We know that because there's going to be a multiplier. Uh, but we don't know how much. Okay, so that's how Keynesians go. Look at it. Just as a side, somebody who is a critic of the Keynesians, sometimes called neoclassicals, they're going to say, uh, no, you don't need to do this at all. Uh, just wait. Prices will drop. You'll get some deflation. Then people will people that didn't lose their jobs, so the investors that uh, see a chance to make a, make a profit, they're going to start investing. They're going to start spending, and then we'll get back to this without messing with it. Okay, uh, Many people kind of believe in both, so here we go. Um, not at the same time, but they, they in degrees. All right. Assume Travis Stan's government is con taking, considering taking action to close the gap. Okay. So what they want to do is they want to uh, increase the GDP, as I said there, by a hundred billion. Okay. Uh, calculate the minimum charge and indicate the direction of. Ch uh, sorry, minimum change, and indicate the direction of the change in the government spending. Okay. So they're going to have to increase. Government spending, uh, aggregate demand, this is a similar thing for just saying uh, the amount of spending in the economy. So uh, we want, this is the little model we're going to build. So we want $100 billion of growth. Okay. What we don't know is how much spending they would have to do. So I'm going to use X as the spending. Uh, and then I'm going to multiply that by the multiplier. Okay. Because the theory here is let's say that the multiplier was 2. Okay. Uh, then two and I spent, I don't know, we'll call it uh, 20 billion, okay? Uh, how much growth would I expect to see? Okay, so that would be, it's pretty easy, 40 billion, right? If, if the multiplier is two. Well, in this case, we're not given the multiplier, but we can figure it out. So let's, let's figure out what the multiplier uh, would be over here, okay? So multiplier um, is one over one, whoops, minus the MPC, okay, which is the same way as saying, there's a shortcut here, this is the same way as saying one over the marginal propensity to save, okay.
okay? Because remember that always has to equal one. Okay, so one over the MPS. All right, so one over 0.2, and if you don't have a calculator around, it's pretty easy to go. One over two over 10. Two over 10 simplified is one fifth. Okay, I can multiply this by five, and the fives will go away, and then multiply that, and we get a fiscal, sometimes called the Keynesian spending multiplier, fiscal spending multiplier of five. Okay, so now I know that uh, I don't know what the spending level is, but I know the multiplier is five. Okay, this is pretty high, right? So you give, they're not going to save very much. Okay, um, so. Although I guess in real terms, that's actually pretty low uh, <laughs> empirical data. Anyway, so uh, all I need to do here, that's in billions, okay? So I just want to divide by five, divide by five. Okay, those go away. So what is the spending I got to do? It's $20 billion. So here's the theory. If we spend $20 billion, uh, that $20 billion will multiply by five because of this propensity to consume that people have and we'll close that gap that we have there. The neoclassicals are going to criticize that. They're going to say there's some corruption or they're going to have to pay it back later. Um, maybe, maybe too much inflation, right? There's some good criticisms, but that's the answer, 20 billion, okay? If instead, Travis Stan's government changes taxes, okay? So in this case, we're going to have to cut taxes, okay? Um, so in this one, we, we want to know what the tax multiplier is, okay? So the tax multiplier is a negative number because if they raise taxes this is going to cut spending and if they lower taxes it's going to increase okay so this one's negative so it's negative MPC over the MPS okay uh, and so this one is point this is pretty easy 0 0.8 over 0 0.2 and it's negative okay so that's pretty easy that's just negative 4 and if you look here it was a pretty cool trick too. This will always work. You can test it out if you want. But um, the, the tax multiplier is um, one minus the fiscal spending multiplier, uh, and it's negative. All right. So if the fiscal spending multiplier here is five, the tax multiplier is negative four. If the fiscal spending multiplier is three, tax multiplier will be. I don't know why my pen's doing that. Um, the tax. I lost it. There we go. Uh, the tax multipliers be negative two. Okay, so it's really easy um, to do that. Okay, so in this case, I want um, well, again one hundred billion dollars, and I want to know how much in tax I have to cut uh, to get a uh, hundred billion dollars. Okay, so this this one we're going to divide by four. Okay, and I can just do that in my head. It's 25 billion. So I'm going to have to cut, which I didn't need this, this negative here. I need to cut taxes by $25 billion. So the tax cut is going to be higher than uh, the spending. And here's why. Okay, so if you cut my taxes, okay, I'm kind of a goofy person. I don't spend that much money. Um, I'm going to save it. Okay, I'm going to save a larger portion uh, of it. I'm just going to put it in the bank and I'm not going to spend it. Okay, now that, that will get some sort of multiplier, but it, it's not the same, right? If the government, say, builds a new Air Force base, a library, or whatever, they, they have to pay companies to do that, and there's not going to be any saving. Okay, so that's why uh, when they do some kind of fiscal policy, they're always going to get more bang for their buck. Now, um, you still got to pay back either amount of money but you're backed up by the fact that you you can't save the spending okay um, people can save the the tax cut so that's how to do uh, that one and uh, there you go